What's up, Odoers? Let's talk inventory. Last time, we covered put-away rules which help determine the best storage locations for incoming products. But what if we walked all the way to shelf one only to find out that it's already full? Now what? That's where smart put-away rules, also known as storage categories, come in. They make sure there's space before I even get there. Pretty smart, right? Well, enough chit-chat. Let's jump into our database and see this all in action. All right, first things first from the inventory app, let's enable storage locations. To do that, we're gonna click on configuration at the top, followed by settings. From the settings page, we're just gonna scroll to the warehouse section. And here we wanna make sure that storage locations is enabled. This enables our database to have specific locations like shelf one in our warehouse stock, for example. It also enables storage categories. And to set up storage categories, I can click on configuration once again, and then click on storage categories. So this page displays all the categories in my database, including this zone A category. That'll set a specific limit for a storage location. So when we look into zone A and check on our capacity by product tab, we've set our maximum quantity to 100 vinyl records per location. So if an incoming shipment exceeds this limit, Odoo automatically directs the extras to an alternative location. Well, which locations, you may ask. Let's click this Location Smart button here at the top. And as you see, we have two locations, which is Shelf 1 and Shelf 2. The put-away rules only consider locations on this list here. And I do have a quick tip for you. In order to check what's being stored at this location, I can click on Shelf 1, for example, click on Current Stock, and then here, I can see that I have 90 vinyl records on hand at our shelf one location. Let's also remember that for later. Now, let's say I also want to store my vinyl records in a new location, something like shelf three. To do that, I'll click on configuration, followed by locations. And from this locations list, we can select shelf three. And here in the storage category field, we'll just select zone A, which is the storage category that we're already using for vinyl records. Okay, next, we'll make sure the vinyl records go to the right location using put away rules. For that, we'll click on configuration and then to put away rules. So we already have an in-depth video on put away rules. For all the ins and outs, feel free to check that video out. But to make your life easier, I'll make sure to link it in the description below. I should also note that by default, when we receive an item into our inventory, it'll just be transferred into our journal warehouse stock unless instructed otherwise. So how do we make sure that certain products end up at their designated storage category? As you can see, we currently have one put away rule set right now. This rule states that when our vinyl records enter our warehouse stock, that we must store it to warehouse stock shelf one. Now, this is the most common kind of put away rule you can apply to your database. However, we can have our put away rules work in tandem with our storage categories. Remember how our zone A category had a limit of 100 vinyl records per location? Well, what happens to a product if the storage location is already full? In that case, we can create a backup. So here in our sublocation column, we can utilize three different options. Currently, this is set as no, but we also have closest location and last used. When using closest location, we're referring to the closest location within that specific having category, also known as storage category. On the other hand, the last used option directs the user to store the product in the you guessed it, the last used storage location. So the last used option is fairly self-explanatory. So for this example, we'll be utilizing the closest location option. So we're gonna select that here in our sublocation column. And when we select that, we get this warning, but we'll just click close because we know what we're doing. Then here in the having category field, we'll select zone A. Naturally, Odoo will store the product in the general warehouse stock if shelf one of zone A is full. So to ensure additional vinyl records end up in the correct storage location, we must create a backup put away rule. So I'll click save here and click new. And we're just gonna create the same rule here. But this time, instead of storing it to shelf one again, we're going to select shelf two. Let's also make sure that shelf two is below shelf one because the order of the item of this list determines the prioritized location. 
Now, with that all set up, if shelf one is full, we can rest assured that Odoo will make sure that our vinyl records will still make it to their correct storage category. All right, now that we have everything set up, let's see some storage categories in action. To start, we're gonna click this two to receive button here in the receipts category. And as you can see, we have two orders from two different vinyl record vendors coming in today. And we're gonna let storage categories tell me where we're gonna be putting them away. So let's take a look at this first order here from Vivid Vinyls. I can see that it contains 10 vinyl records and we can see where they're gonna be going by clicking on this hamburger icon to the right of quantity. In the pop-up window, Odoo wants to send them to shelf one where we intended. So we'll click save. Then we'll call Jose in our warehouse to let him know he's good to move the vinyl records over. And then we'll just click validate. Next, let's process the other order by clicking this receipts breadcrumb. And we'll open the order from Port of Sound. And here we can see there are also 10 more vinyls coming in. And to see the destination storage location, I'll click the hamburger icon once again. And look at that, just as we planned, these vinyl records will be going to shelf two since shelf one is full. So I'll click save here and validate this receipt. And that's a wrap. We just covered how to add an extra feature to put away rules, making it easier than ever to store products in the right place, even when the shelves are full. Now you doers can manage inventory with confidence. Looks like I've hit my storage limit, so I'm gonna make some space. I'll see you next time.